Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of OSINT with Kali Linux. We're talking about the tools that professionals use to uncover information. And today, I'm bringing that knowledge straight to you. We'll explore 20 new tools that can help you find anyone online. Whether you're a security pro, a curious mind, or just want to know what's possible, this video is your one-stop shop for all things OSINT. So buckle up, grab your favorite drink, and let's get right into it. We've got a lot to cover, and I'm hyped to break it all down for you. All right, kicking things off, we've got Nmap. This tool is your go-to for network scanning. Think of it like a digital detective for your network. Now, what makes Nmap stand out is its ability to discover hosts and services efficiently. This is huge because it helps you understand your network structure and security. And the best part? It's already built into Kali, so you don't need to spend hours on installation. We'll be using it throughout the video, so make sure you stick around. Next up, we're taking a look at Wireshark. Now this one is all about how Wireshark can be used for OSINT. Imagine being able to capture and interactively browse the traffic running on a computer network. The cool thing about Wireshark is that it's incredibly versatile. You can use it for network troubleshooting, analysis, and protocol development. The interface is surprisingly user-friendly. We'll be diving into a live demo in just a bit, so you can see the magic happen firsthand. Moving right along, let's talk about Metasploit. Now, this one is special because it makes discovering, exploiting, and sharing vulnerabilities quick and relatively painless. This is something I haven't seen in other OSINT tools, and it makes a world of difference. It's all about working smarter, not harder, and Metasploit definitely delivers on that front. Stay tuned, because we're about to jump into a demo where I'll show you exactly how to leverage this feature for your own investigations. Now, let's talk about Aircrack NG. One of the things I love about this tool is how incredibly easy it is to use. Even if you're brand new to Kali Linux, you'll be up and running with Aircrack NG in no time. It's all about assessing Wi-Fi network security with a user-friendly interface and workflow. No complicated commands or configurations, just straightforward functionality. Let's jump into Kali, and I'll walk you through the basics of Aircrack NG. Before we dive into John the Ripper, there are a few prerequisites you'll need. You'll need to have a basic understanding of password security and some experience with command line tools. These might seem like extra steps, but trust me, they're essential for effectively using John the Ripper. Once you have everything set up, you'll be good to go. In the next chapter, I'll show you exactly where to get these prerequisites and how to configure them for John the Ripper. Now let's put Hydra into practice. Let's say you're trying to crack a login using Hydra. With Hydra, you can easily perform parallelized login attacks across numerous protocols. It's like having a digital detective at your fingertips. You provide the clues, and Hydra helps you connect the dots. Let's switch over to Kali, and I'll show you a live demonstration of this exact scenario. One of the things that makes Multego so powerful is its ability to integrate seamlessly with other OSINT tools. For example, you can combine it with mention a tool it integrates with to explain the benefit of the integration. This level of integration is crucial for conducting thorough investigations. In the next chapter, we'll explore some powerful workflows that leverage the integration capabilities of Multego. Now, while Burp Suite is an incredibly powerful tool, it's important to be aware of its limitations. One thing to keep in mind is that Burp Suite can be quite resource intensive. This means that it might slow down your system, especially if you're running multiple scans simultaneously. Despite this limitation, Burp Suite remains an invaluable asset for OSINT practitioners. It's all about understanding its strengths and weaknesses. I'm always excited to see tools that are constantly being updated and improved, and Nikto is no exception. Recently, they released an update that includes enhanced scanning capabilities 
and improved reporting features. This update makes Nikto even more powerful by providing more accurate and detailed scan results. It's great to see the developers actively listening to the community and implementing new features. I'm excited to see what the future holds for Nikto. Now, let's talk about SQL Map, a tool that's gained massive popularity within the OSINT community. And for good reason, it's incredibly powerful and versatile. What makes SQL Map so popular is its ability to automate the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws. Let's jump into a live demo and see why SQL Map has become such a fan favorite. All right, it's time for a hands-on demonstration. In this chapter, we're gonna walk through a brief tutorial using reconning. We'll start by outlining the steps of the tutorial. We'll take it step by step, and I'll be here to guide you through the entire process. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use reconning for your own investigations. Now, the Harvester isn't the only game in town. If you're looking for alternatives, you might wanna check out Multigo. It offers similar functionality, but with a slightly different approach. Ultimately, the best tool for you will depend on your specific needs and preferences. It's always good to have options, and both the Harvester and Multigo deserve a spot in your OSINT toolkit. Shodan is a search engine that lets you find specific types of computers connected to the internet using a variety of filters. Whether you're running Kali Linux, Windows, or Mac OS, you'll be able to use Shodan without any issues. This cross-platform compatibility is a major advantage as it allows you to conduct investigations from virtually any device. It's all about flexibility and convenience, and Shodan delivers on both fronts. When it comes to OSINT, security should always be top of mind. With Cuckoo Sandbox, it's important to be aware of potential security concerns. This means that there are risks and vulnerabilities to consider. It's crucial to take appropriate precautions to protect yourself and your data. Always prioritize security and privacy. All right, let's wrap things up with some tips for getting the most out of the Social Engineer Toolkit. First and foremost, always stay updated with the latest version to ensure you have the newest features and security patches. Another helpful tip is to thoroughly understand the different attack vectors available within SET to maximize its potential. By implementing these tips, you'll be well on your way to becoming a Social Engineer Toolkit Pro. The more you use the Social Engineer Toolkit, the more comfortable and proficient you'll become. Now, let's talk about the OSINT framework. The OSINT framework is focused on gathering information from free tools and resources. That's right, you can access a wide range of features without spending a dime. This makes the OSINT framework an incredibly accessible tool for anyone interested in OSINT. It's a testament to the power of open source software and the collaborative spirit of the OSINT community. Spiderfoot is an open source intelligence OSINTINT automation tool. For example, Spiderfoot has been used in a number of notable case studies and success stories. This case highlights the real world impact of Spiderfoot and its ability to assist in investigations. These success stories serve as inspiration and demonstrate the power of OSINT when used responsibly and effectively. Let's recap the key benefits of FOCA. First and foremost, FOCA excels at finding metadata and hidden information in documents. Additionally, it helps in uncovering sensitive data that might be overlooked. Overall, FOCA is a valuable asset for anyone involved in OSINT. If you're serious about OSINT, FOCA should be at the top of your list. I'm always excited to see what the future holds for OSINT tools, and Metagoofal is no exception. Metagoofle is an information gathering tool designed for extracting metadata from public documents. One exciting development on the horizon is discuss a future potential or upcoming feature. I'm eager to see how Metagoofle continues to evolve and empower OSINT practitioners in the years to come. 
As we wrap up our exploration of these 20 must-have OSINT tools, I want to leave you with a few final thoughts on Datasploit. This tool has quickly become one of my favorites because it offers a comprehensive framework to perform various recon techniques on companies, people, phone numbers, and more. It's a testament to the fact that having a versatile tool like Datasploit can significantly enhance your OSINT investigations. I encourage you to dive in, explore its capabilities, and see how it can transform your recon techniques. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Let us know in the comments which OSINT tool you're most excited to try out. And hey, if you've got any questions, drop them below. I try to answer as many as I can. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of